Hi, these are the technicians from AAA TV Electronics Vacuums and Appliance. We are here today to show you how to do a Toshiba bulb replacement for a Toshiba model number Y196 LMP bulb. We are going to use a bulb replacement and keep the original bulb housing. Uh, you want to have a bulb replacement, you want to have some gloves, and a Phillips head screwdriver in order to perform this replacement. First step, you're going to locate the screws on the actual housing and unscrew them. When you rescrew these screws, you want to make sure you don't over torque them or tighten them because the plastic housing can warp. And that's a, you know, just a piece of advice after years of experience that we've noticed it can be very helpful. Sometimes customers, you know, over tighten screws. Also, when you're installing the bulb over tightening the screws on the actual glass housing of the bulb um, can also cause cracking and fracturing of the glass. So you just want to be aware of that and you want to be careful. On this unit there's the two screws that we loosen from here uh, and then there's a screw that actually holds the power source to the lamp which needs to be loosened and that's this screw right here. Toshiba uh, made a great DLP TV technology, but just like all DLP TVs, on average you're going to get 6,000 to 8,000 hours of usage. That usually translates into about three to five years of TV watching, depending on uh, your frequency and how much you watch TV. Um, as you can tell, after we loosen those three screws, you get into the inside of the housing where you'll find the bulb itself and all the wiring and there's usually going to be four screws that hold the bulb in place and you're just going to unscrew those screws. These are all Phillips head screws so one screwdriver should get the whole job done. Wearing the gloves is important because the oils from your fingers can cause premature burning um, of the bulb. It can cause the bulb to, to wear out or fade sooner. Uh, instead of getting the full six to eight thousand hours of life, you may only get, you know, two to three thousand hours. On average, uh, like I said, six to eight thousand hours of usage on an original bulb, and that's what we sell here at AAAA TV Electronics Vacuum and Appliance, um, should last about three to five years. Now, if the TV and if the TV vents on the back are set too close to a wall, or if there's a heat return next to the TV, or if the TV just gets hours upon hours of usage. Also, frequent turning on and off of the TV can cause these bulbs to prematurely fail. It can also cause the bulbs to um, experience or give you shorter life. Um, it's not unusual for us to have customers that come in and replace their bulbs every year or two years. Um, we have customers that use their bulbs a lot more frequently than your average consumer. Some people run their TVs 10 to 12 hours a day. Um, for various reasons. So keep in mind that when you replace the bulb, that's the only piece you're replacing. Another part to also take into consideration is that when the bulb goes out, sometimes it'll burn, sometimes it'll explode. In this situation, you'll notice that the bulb actually busted. You can hear the shards of glass and you can see the shards of glass in there. This is normal. Um, but a lot of times the bulb will actually just burn and a lot of times it won't be as visible as this where the bulb may have just faded or burnt after usage. When the bulb busts or burns out, it can cause the ballast, color wheels, color assemblies, optical systems to fail as well. You want to make sure um, that when you put the new bulb in, not to prematurely judge that it's defective. All of our bulbs come pre-tested, and so if it doesn't work when you put the new bulb in, it may mean that there is another issue that needs to be addressed. Um, we're unwrapping and installing the new bulb now. Um, you want to make sure you line it up the same way as the original. You also want to keep track of where the wires are, because you want the wires you don't want the wires to be too short. If you angle the bulb the wrong way, you want to make sure that those wires are actually going to get to where they need to be screwed in. 
Um, as you can tell, we, we probably need to reposition the bulb so that the wires are actually on the back side. 